Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Visio module. In this module, we're going to look at bringing external data into some of your diagrams. And the two diagrams that we are going to use is or are a basic flow chart and a timeline. First of all, a timeline. So I'm going to double click on the timeline and create, first of all, a blank timeline. So normally, to create a timeline, you just drag the block timeline onto the screen and configure this information. But in this example, I want to bring information from an external source. And the external source is going to be a Microsoft project file. To do that, on the timeline tab on the ribbon, you have an icon, a little Microsoft project icon, import data. Click on that and then select the file that you require. So down here, build a wooden house, double click that, and then I'm going to follow the wizard through. And I am going to leave everything on the default settings for this example. So following it through next to the end, finish. And then the wizard would generate the timeline based on the fields and the information in the Microsoft project file. Now you can see this is slightly cluttered, so you will have to edit this sl slightly, moving things around, moving the labels, but this is the information that is in the Microsoft project file. Now this information is not linked, so if the project file changes, this does not change, or you will have to change it manually or rerun the wizard. The next example, however, is an example of bringing data into a diagram that is linked, and when the source data changes, it will update in the diagram. And to show you that, I'm going to use a basic flowchart. Now to get the data, you need to click on the data tab and I am going to use custom import. And you can see there, you've got different options that you can bring data from. For this example, I'm going to use an Excel workbook. Clicking next. Normally you would have to browse for the file, but if you've been in the file before, it will sit in this list. So this is the file I require, induction process. Next. At this stage, I could select a range of that file as opposed to the whole thing. But for now, I'm going to leave it as default. Next, you've got selected columns. So this lists all the columns in Excel and how they will sit in Physio, and you can take you can take information off there if required. But again, I'm going to leave everything on default. Next, this field which says recommended is the the linked field if you like, the one that triggers the changes. So I'm going to leave that as recommended, and then next, and then finally finish. What you then get is a pane on the right hand side of the screen that says external data listing all those fields. And it works like this. You click on the shape that you require. So first off, a start and end shape, and then you drag this information onto the screen. As soon as you do that, you'll see a little link symbol. Now, I'm going to go through this process by first off putting the connector tool on and then clicking on a process shape, dragging the next one along and the connector tool will connect up to that automatically. And then all the way down, I'll quickly put these on and you can see how it works. Now, you can also see the data graphic appearing. This last one is a, st a start end again. So drag that one on take my connector tool off and go back to the data tab. So the information on these shapes is displayed in shape data. This is the information that is in Excel. So if I click on any of these, you can see the information is the same. So this is um, process number two, pay finance department, 100 pound budget. If I go back into Excel, process number two, pay finance £100. So the information is pulled through. 
Now the shape data, you can leave the shape data as displayed or change it. So I'm going to change the shape data and go to the top. You have some different options you can click on and have a look. So that's put quite a bit more information in there. Um, I quite like that one. Don't need the labels perhaps. In fact, I'm going to leave that one on and edit this slightly. So if I go into this one, edit these two. So to edit that one, I don't want the label, so the label position is left of the value. If I change that to not shown, click OK, apply that, it disappears, and then do the same for budget. Um, edit the budget, label position not shown, OK, apply. So now it's just got these sitting on the right. I can change that maybe to center, apply. Put some in the center and then the name, the, the task name is not on there at the moment. So if I go new item, select name, display as text and then do the same with the label not shown. OK, apply, OK. And then you can see the information is sitting on there. Now that is a bit cluttered, so I need to just sort this out. Go back into there. This bottom one um, needs to change position. So if I go um, try that, apply. That's better actually. The whole information is outside, so it's it's got the um, the tasks. These probably need to move up, so the name goes to the top. That's it. That's better. Induction admin pound. Yeah, it's better sitting off the task like that. Okay, to all of that. Now that is set. Now, if the data changes in Excel, because this is linked, the data will be picked up or the change will be picked up. So if I go into um, the Excel file and change that budget figure to a hundred pounds. So £100, so there is a change. And then if I come back into the Visio diagram and refresh the data, the wizard should pick that up. And if I close that, it's picked it up £100. So that data is now linked to the Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet changes, this data needs to be refreshed, and then the diagram changes also. So that is an example of how to bring data in from Microsoft Project unlinked and then how to bring data from an Excel spreadsheet into a flowchart in this example which is linked and will be updated on refresh. And that's the end of this module and thank you for your time.